Hi, this is DJ Amaya, and I'm going to be showing you some little tips and tricks on Ableton Live. Uh, today's tip is going to be creating separate channels for use with the Impulse drum set. Now, I'm using Ableton 6.03. Uh, but most of these options should all work for previous versions. I haven't used before 5.0, um, so I'm not sure if it's exactly the same. But if you're using Impulse and you want to, say, affect your kick drum differently or your snare drum differently without opening up another Impulse or having it as a sample, uh, you can do that. And I'm going to show you how. Alright, for this Ableton tip, you're going to want to start off with an Impulse drum set. And once you've got that set up, go ahead and set up a one measure loop, something so you can monitor the sounds. And go ahead and press play. I've got a little just random loop going on here. Now, a lot of people are going are gonna to say, well, I want to affect the kick drum or just the snare drum in a different way without opening up another impulse. Uh, the way to do that is you open up a new audio track. Do um, If you have all your in and out options open, you'll be able to see audio from. And under there, you got a drop box saying external in. Now you want to change that to, to select it to whatever MIDI channel you're coming from. So like right now, the original MIDI channel that has the impulse drum set in it is MIDI 1. So I'm going to select MIDI 1 and I'm going to put the monitor on. Now right now it's receiving all the drum machines, so now we got two different ones going. But I want to have just the kick drum. So I'm going to select the dry BD1, which is where it's coming from. And now it's sending that directly from Impulse, and it's no longer even playing out of the MIDI 1 channel. And you can keep repeating that step for each different sound in Impulse. So you can select MIDI, monitor in, and then select maybe that dry snare. Now if you turn the channel off and mute that and just monitor the two channels, you'll just get the, the new dedicated sends. When you, when you change your drum loop over here, it will send it to there. And let's say you want to send like all your hi-hats. Usually what I do is I just select the whole track and select it pre-effects and put monitor in and everything else that's not already being to a, sent to ascend will be added to there. And I usually do that for hi-hats because I want to affect those more or less the same. Especially the open hi-hat and the closed hi-hat. I'll have a separate one for maybe the crash symbol. But, but it's a really good technique, especially for those users that are switching over from Reason or or maybe perhaps Fruity Loops and are used to having a dedicated channel for each sample if they want. But this works really good and you can utilize Ableton and it I've just it's proven to be a really great production help. Because you can get separate compressions, different EQs, you can really make those snare drums stand out, add some more bass to your kick drum without affecting all the rest of your drums. Anyway, that's just a little tip I thought I'd share, and I will be posting more Ableton Live little tips and tricks 